Hi guys, we are back again and this is in middle of COVID-19 situation. So we are pretty much stuck at home and one of the things we've thought that we will try to work on a weekend for this ugly door out here. Let's see how it goes. So, so this is the ugly door. You see this, uh, it is like paints are very old here. Some places it is getting chipped off and we uh, earlier painted the trim but the door is still i don't know how old we are like living in this home for three years and this is kind of like really old so what we are trying to do today uh, and possibly tomorrow uh, we will repaint this whole door and uh, these are the tools that we will need first thing first is a um, lot of sanding so i got like uh, two sanders and this time, there is no more going into Lowe's or Home Depot and trying to buy this. We bought all of this online. Um, so two sanders here. One is the circular orbital saw and this is like for the edges. And um, the plan is to go through each of these sandpapers. As you can see from the course, uh, P40 to all the way to the finest, 320. And I will try to not to be lazy today and kind of like go through each of this, like 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 150, sorry, 180, 240, and 320. And for the, um, for the ages, uh, we have like three only, 80 is already there, and like 100 and 120. Also, um, we're trying to change the, the lock um and for that we bought this too again online i'll put the description um I, i'll put the link in the description and also a good tape painter's tape because there are a lot of um glasses in this door and i want to like protect that it's very painful to uh, take out the paint from the glass later on and of course like um um like a spreader and i will use it to put the tape on the uh, door that's pretty much from the tools perspective of course i have also need a um, lot of paint and i've already ordered that again online not going to home depot and all and you see this um, ugly old door that we are trying to repaint and um, so i ordered it uh, online and i will like expect it to pick it up curbside today sanding time now a lot of sanding i'm starting from 40 We'll go 60, 80, 100, 150, 180, 240, all the way to 320. Let's see how it works. Okay, this is a problem area. I don't know how much you can see, but probably you can see here. There are like a lot of chip and a lot of uneven surfaces here. So you really have to sand it down. So I'm starting with the P40 again and have to sand a lot this area. Well, I was sanding here and realized these are coming in our way. So I cannot sand it well. I'm trying to open this. Pretty easy to open this too. So opening all the locks so that I can sand it better. Okay, it was about an hour of sanding and I burnt out a lot of sandpapers. I'll show you. So this many sandpapers I have used so far. Again, it's an hour of sand sanding, but I feel pretty good about the surfaces here. So if I can you know, touch it, I can feel how smooth it is. Yeah, some of the places the paint is totally off and some of the places the paint is still there. But I think that should be okay. Um, but it was good sanding. I'm going to the 8 sander. Uh, it looks like this, if you see, to cover some of these corners, uh, like hard to reach corners like this. And I'll show you from here. Yeah, kind of like these things. And also uh, these streams, these edges, uh, I will also sand with this. Good. And also giving a good clean after that to take out all the sand dust right out of the surface. 
also i have this um sub hack um if you have it then it's good um i, I will actually vacuum the whole place um with this sub hack If you see this corner, what I was doing is I was putting the painted strip from this side and this side. This corner will still have a gap. And what I do is I normally like cut a, like a, a piece of tape like this with a 90 degree corner, a 90 degree angle. And then I try to put it like perfectly aligned like this. So that way I get a, like a sharp 90 degree there. Starting to paint, um, I'm using a two inch brush and um, the brush should be very good quality. Otherwise the whole thing doesn't work out well. I'll give, try to give it a good star of the paint. Uh, by the way, I got the paint from Sharwin Williams uh, during this COVID-90 situation and they gave it a, they did a very good job. Um, it was a curbside pickup. I didn't even have to get out of my car. Um, they just reached there, called them, and they gave the paint like uh, directly delivered to the trunk of the car. Good, very good service. I'm giving it a good star. And um, I see you know, like there is a little bit of deposit. I can feel it at the bottom of the can. So I'm trying to mix it well before I start the paint. I'm planning to have like two coats, starting with one. And then after it dries, probably tomorrow morning, I'll go for the second coat. At the last we are changing this weather strip if you can see this is the old one and this is one side we changed to the new one it uh, looks much better so we need to change this one and this one um, what I'm doing is just taking it apart it's very easy to take it out the strip I bought from Amazon it has actually two parts I can split into two parts or I can do it together um, on this side we did it together to make sure it is a wide enough and See, it gives a clean finish uh, to the newly painted wood. 